Hello. Hello there, this is Mahan Visaranos, and uh, I'm here to present my comment for deep learning. I hope you get a better understanding of what I've done after the, by the end of this. And the application is really just used to teach Atari how to play itself, or I'm sorry, Atari Pong game how to play itself. My app doesn't have too much value right now. It's just demonstrating a game. And my user experience is pretty boring because it's it's so slow. Because uh, I have to train this thing to, to do things. But pretty much I'm going to give my computer like a like a brain or a neural network, I guess, to like teach it how to play a game. I do it by like using these little packages things, a toolkit, gem, which helps me create and test um, this thing called reinforcement learning, which is basically just failing and learning, but the computer is doing it. Um, I think the first way I have to like, define our brain, our neural network, I suppose. Um, so this is what it's going to be learning to learn to play the game. And um, using different layers that help the computer learn recognize things like patterns and then I'm going to create my environment um, so we can play the game and it basically like it's a simulator that the computer can interact with to learn how to play the game um, after that it's uh, I can play the game, interact with it and whatnot set up some settings and notes so for how the neural network will be trained um, this includes things like I guess updating it and a replay buffer, but like, I don't really have one. I don't think I included one. I did it before, but then I was like, nah. It's kind of good to have. It's like a, it's like a memory bank <laughs> where the computer can store like, the past experience to have learn. Uh, we would then we pretty much then create two instances of the neural network model, or, or like the brain, like one for training and like one for calculating. Like, these things called target values. Uh, the target network is like a copy of the training of the training network. And it's used to like help with the learning process pretty much. That's pretty much all that does. And uh, after that I, I have to optimize the setup. It's like a coach. Okay, that would help the neural network learn how to play the game better. And then I define a function for calculating loss, which is, um, where is that? It's right here, I'm blind. Okay, so now we just get to the main part. So, like, it's like a loop that runs through a bunch of, like, games. Like, rounds of games for every, like, episode. And then we then loop each step of the game. And for each step we're doing, I convert the game screen to, like, black and white. And, like, resize it so the brain can process it and then I use the neural network to like decide what action like moving like a paddle up and down and then take the chosen action and observe what happens in the next game like store the experience and replay buffer honestly I've been through so many iterations of this code I can't remember um, um, but Pretty much, we, we just like keep repeating the process until the game is over, and then you move on to the next episode and do it again. We update the, the, the epsilon value, which is like used to control how the brain or how often the neural network chooses a random action instead of the best action. Lock some results, so basically like note some things, update the target network again, then we close the environment and code is finished. That's pretty much what it is. Overall, the code is training the brain to how to play Pong. That's <laughs> by interacting with the game, I suppose. That's, uh, that's pretty much what this does. Oh, I, didn't, I can't record on my other screen, but here's what happened. It runs and then it closes immediately. It's, it's annoying. But it runs, it runs, I swear, I swear.